Vitascape 371 and today we're going to look at advanced layout options. So here I've opened a standard sample session file and just um, modified the appearance a bit so it'll be easy to see where nodes are overlapping and maybe clustered a bit too much. To access advanced layouts what you want to do is go to the layout menu and choose settings. That'll bring this pop-up menu up where you can identify which layout algorithm you want to use. One of my favorites is Perfuse Force Directed Layout. And here you have access to a number of parameters um, that you can adjust to get the layout, to tune the layout exactly how you'd like it. Um, this sort of tuning is critical because not all networks are the same. Some networks are denser than others. If you're working with similarity networks, for example, it's going to be very different from protein-protein interaction networks. So don't be shy about opening up the layout settings and adjusting uh, these coefficients and default values um, so that your network looks the way you want it to. I'm going to show you some of the um, how some of these specific default values um, work operationally. For example, our current layout is using, um, is using the Perfuse Force Directed uh, with these parameters. Click Apply, and nothing's changing. This is the layout we're looking at currently. I would say there's a bit too much overlap here. Things are clustered a bit together. And so what we can do is we can do things like increase and decrease the spring coefficient, the default spring length, and the node math. Maths, those are my three favorite uh, default values to adjust. In this particular case, we want uh, the spring coefficient to decrease. We want less um, spring um, action bringing all of our nodes together. And so this is a value 1 times 10 to the minus 3 currently. So if we increase this number, we'll be decreasing the overall value. And you can click Apply and see how now things are spread out. Can continue to increase this by orders of magnitude and really spread things out until um, you start to lose even a lot of the a lot of the structure right so we've probably gone too far here in the other direction started with three if we make the if we increase the spring constant um, it'll just continue to bring things closer and closer together this is literally simulating a tighter and tighter spring, which leaves less um, potential to spread things out. Okay, so let's go back to something like four. This is looking a little better. In addition to the spring coefficient, you can also tune things like the default spring length. This is basically is how um, long should that spring be uh, when things start out before the simulation is run. So it's currently set at 50. You can increase and decrease this, um, you, like in units of 50 are usually pretty useful. So here I'll jump by 100, and you'll see things are more spaced out. Just jump another 100, we get more spaced out. If we went the other direction, decrease this to 10, things are going to be a little tighter together. Um, so let's leave this at like 150. And then the final thing I wanted to demonstrate is node mass. So this is, imagine this is how heavy each of these nodes are. If they're heavier, they're not going to be able to move as easily, and they're not going to be able to bunch up as easily from their starting position. So let's make these a little heavier. And now they're more spread out. If we increase this a lot, they're even more spread out, right? And if we decrease this number, it's a very light node mass, that means given the spring and the spring length, things can be bunched up together. So dramatically different layouts um, just by tuning these three variables, uh, these three default values. Um, so you can get things exactly how you like them without having to come in and manually move things around. Uh, the last thing I'll point out here is that um, some of the layout algorithms, including the Perfuse Force Directed Layout, also let you take um, edge column values to use as weights. So in this network we have an edge between this score, for example. You could specify an edge column with data values that you have 
And again, play around with these values and these interpretation uh, uh, weight metrics, and um, they'll dramatically change your network as well. You can always turn that back off until you get a network you like. This is also the same in interface where you can set uh, which layout you want to be your preferred layout. If we set it to Perfuse Force Directive and click Done, that then um, um, encodes what this icon, this uh, layout, repeat layout icon will do. So you now you can just click this in the future and it'll perform your preferred layout with the last set of parameters that you chose.